What is going on YouTube? Welcome back to another episode of Parker's POV. Today we're going to be taking a look at this 2024 Genesis Overnighter. This is the 12-14.6 front kitchen model. Just took this one back in on trade. We actually sold it to a guy. He used it once or twice. His wife decided she wanted something a little bit bigger, a little bit more comfortable. Um, so I'm just making this quick video for a customer out in Oregon. His name is Matt. And I just wanted to do this little walkthrough, show you the condition of the trailer. Now keep in mind, as we get into this, this unit has not been detailed. It has not been through our shop yet. So you got to use your imagination just a little bit. Um, but yeah, I'll go ahead and list some specs on the screen here. So feel free to um, pause the video to review those and uh, we'll get started. So we'll start at the front here, kind of work our way around. So first things first, this one is going to have a power tongue jack. So you can raise and lower it with the push of a button. It's got a little built-in light up front as well. You've got your seven way, your safety chains, and then of course your batteries would be mounted behind your dual 20 pound propane tanks. Notice I have this one hooked up to a jumper box currently because the previous owner took his batteries with him and put them on the new trailer. So that's one thing to keep in mind. This one will need a battery or two to get up and running. Um, there is a little solar prep port down here as well. So really easy to plug in a briefcase style panel um, and uh, use solar that way. It does not have a roof mounted solar panel, just so we're clear. Coming down the driver's side, actually, let's take a look at the front cap real quick. So it is a fiberglass um, front cap. It's a molded front cap. Looks really good and it's got some lights on it too couple marker lights up top, an LED light strip. And then you also have this little camp light up front as well. So really unique looking trailer. In fact, a lot of people like to say that these look like boats. And I would say that's pretty dang accurate. Um, you do have a, a black tank flush here. And then this is just gonna be a storage compartment where it looks like you can house your tools, your 30 amp cable, that sort of thing. And then your main docking station is going to be located all in one place here. So you've got your sewer outlet, your holding tanks, low point drains, all that stuff's going to be in one spot. Then you got your fresh and city water um, ports there. Cable, this is your 30 amp, of course. Exhaust for the furnace, located right there. And then this panel here is to access the back side of your fridge. This unit does use a gas electric fridge. As so we back up here, get a better look at the side profile of the driver's side. So again, really unique looking trailer. Cool thing about this uh, design is it keeps the toys outside of your living space. Um, so kind of nice. Now this one does have some pretty nice off-road tires with these really cool looking wheels. I did confirm on this one, this one's got 4,400 pound axles. Um, just so we're clear, and I'll show you the uh, the actual sticker on the side of the door here in a minute. Um, tinted windows on this one, and then here's a look at the rear deck of this trailer. So this this piece here, these are uh, ramps that you pull off, and they just hook onto these rails, and that's how you drive your side by side or or jeep in this case up onto the deck, and then you've got a ton of tie down points. All the way around this thing so you got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven it looks like so lots of tie downs i'll go ahead and list the dimensions of the deck on the screen in case you're wondering and i'll measure that with a tape measure so you know that they are accurate i really like the diamond plating design that they did all the way around this thing so that goes all the way around the unit um, now, no built-in generator on this unit. However, it does have a fuel station, which is going to be this right here. And then this is your pump. All right. Moving down this way. Here's a side profile of the passenger side. So you are going to get a power awning with an LED light strip underneath. A couple porch lights underneath the patio outside. And then uh, nice solid step entry with adjustable legs. 
So when you're done, this whole unit flips up inside the trailer out of the way. Again, there's your model number there. Let's see if there's a label on the inside of the door here. You might need to turn your phone sideways to read any of this. But it looks like your cargo carrying capacity is 3,392 pounds according to the sticker. Not a whole else, not a whole lot um, going on in the front on this side anyway. You've got your water heater there and that's about it. Um, that sums it up for the outside though. Let's go ahead and head inside. Okay, so hopping inside the unit now, um, as we turn to the right, being a front kitchen model, go figure it's gonna have a kitchen in the front, right? So you got your uh, microwave up top, decent size, nice little overhead storage there. Um, and then here's your countertop. So you got a two burner Dometic stove, a uh, stainless steel sink here, and then a little bit of counter space towards the back there. Not a ton, but again, it's not really what this trailer is designed for. I guess I could turn on some lights for you. There's that. Um, you do have some power back there as well. And then your water pump and water heater and tank controls are going to be located here. Three drawers. And then more storage underneath. That's pretty much it for the kitchen though. To the left of the kitchen is your bathroom. So stepping in here, you've got a pretty good sized bathtub and shower. And lots of space to man spread in here. Nice toilet. Um, it is a plastic toilet for those wondering. Foot flush plastic Dometic toilet. Now panning around this way, this is your main living space here. So we've got two couches here. Um, these do fold flat and they do make into a bed. If you just wanted to use this bottom bed here. However, you've also got this drop down uh, bunk here that's on a, an electric lift system um, as your secondary bed. So I'll go ahead and throw in a uh, picture of what that looks like. Okay guys, I might have misspoke as far as these couches go. So I, I did fold them both flat and I tried to connect them in the middle. However, I do not think they do connect. So it really just forms two individual beds underneath and then you've got the main drop down bed. Um, however, when you're not using the couches, you can fold them up flat against the wall here, just like I did with this one. And that's gonna open up this floor space for all the gear you're gonna throw in here um, and it's even got tie downs in the floor where you could tie down um, like bins and stuff like that um, if you wanted to stay a little bit more organized. Um, coming over this way, here's a look at that Dometic gas electric fridge. Pretty decent size for this unit. Thermostat's going to be located just to the right of that with a carbon monoxide detector down below. And then your converter box. It's located down here next to your furnace. So this is where all your fuses and relay switches will be. Um, it does have auto detect built in. So depending on what type of battery you use, whether it's lithium, AGM, um, it doesn't really matter. It's gonna auto detect what type of battery technology you're using. Um, this is a backer space for a TV. If you wanted to put a TV here, that's why you've got power and cable connections here. And then your air conditioning unit is gonna be located on the roof, of course. A little bit of storage above the fridge. All right, coming around this way. Um, here are your lighting controls down here. You've got your awning control and your bed lift control there as well. And then this is your little RV link Wi-Fi antenna if you choose to use that. Now my favorite part about this uh, trailer is this giant door here. So huge, huge door that opens up to the rear deck so that just opens we'll walk out here real quick but really cool to be able to walk out here and use this as like an outdoor patio when your toy is not on here of course um, you do get a built-in screen door so maybe we want to shut the screen door 
keep the bugs out, but we still want all that fresh air from outside. It's a great way to do it. You've got this nice window on the door as well. And then the previous owner actually installed some fishing rod holders here. So those will come with it, of course. Um, you do have some outdoor power plugs here too. Those are 110 plugs. So anyway, that pretty much sums it up for the 2024 overnighter. Hope this helps. If you have any questions on anything that I maybe didn't address, because I certainly didn't cover everything, uh, leave a comment down below. Like the video if you enjoy content like this. I do enjoy making it, but it's nice to get some feedback here and there. That way I know that people still are interested in this sort of content. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. <laughs>